Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the last installment of my Summer Fragrances series. Today I have five beautiful citrus fragrances that I'll be sharing with you. These are different interpretations of citrus fragrances. We have floral, we have ozonic, aquatic, and we even have a gourmand choice. I'm going to be starting with an aromatic kind of citrus scent. This has a body of florals, but the citruses here are so sparkly and tart and just fresh that this fragrance must be included in this list. This this is from the house of Kayali. This is Citrus 08. It has aromatic qualities because of notes like oak moss, tonka bean, and also pink pepper. But when it comes to the citrus here, it has pink grapefruit, bergamot, and the tartness is amped up by rhubarb. In the middle, the body of the scent are mostly floral. So this is mostly a rose fragrance surrounded by different kinds of citruses. So some citrus fragrances can be one dimensional. Like if they only have lemon or they only have orange, that's citrus can fade away super fast but here it comes in different layers first we have pink grapefruit which is very sparkly and tart and almost like bright and crisp in the entrance and that citrus tart feeling just when you think that it's already gone in the scent we have rhubarb in here as well so that combination that trio of grapefruit rhubarb and bergamot just tickles your senses and it just satiates your um, desire or your hunger for that bright citrus for summertime. And as I mentioned, the body of the scent is rose, but rose, even though it is prominent, even though it's strong, it's not a very dry kind of rose. It is bright and fresh and pink and white, those kinds of roses. It's not a heavy, dusty kind of a rose scent. And this one can also work for summer nights as well because of notes like tonka bean and musk. This is Citrus 08 from the House of Kayali. And then I have a gourmand citrus. Just when we think that, you know, it's summertime, we should just enjoy fresh, fruity florals and we can just, you know, forget about gourmand fragrances. No, no, no. Because I have this one from Dua Fragrances. It is called Tartness of Vanilla. This is basically like a lemon pie or lemon cake kind of scent. It has, you know, listen to the notes, you guys. This one has vanilla cream cake orange peel, lemon pie, hint of praline, bitter almond oil, rose, orchid flower, bitter chocolate, cacao beans, vanilla, more and more vanilla, white musk, and tonka beans. This one has a lot of gourmand notes. As I mentioned, it has cream, vanilla cream cake, orange peel, lemon pie, and it just basically smells like your lemon pie or lemon pound cake you know something that's powdery and creamy and sweet at the same time it's not super sweet like what i would say a whiff of a waffle cone is or it's not super sweet as you know delectable temptation from the house of dua as well but you know it's just that right amount of sweetness that can balance with the yellow citruses in here to enjoy your gourmand fragrances for summertime but you also want to have the dose of citrus that brightness from citrus i suggest tartness of vanilla from the house of dua fragrances i mentioned a very acidic kind of citrus and i have just that kind of scent this is donna edp from the house of trisardi this one is all about the yellow citruses it has fruity notes yuzu and amalfi lemon it has white florals in the middle jasmine orange flower and lotus and in the base i get a lot of sandalwood and vanilla this one is more focused on yellow citruses and just imagine, you know, looking at, you know, a lemon or bowl of lemons, slicing that, getting that juice and squeezing it, you know, the whole experience of a lemon. That's what you get in Trisardi Donna. But it is not just that very harsh kind of lemon, although the citrus here can be a little bit screechy, not really screechy, but it can be a little bit sharp, but it's not really that, you know, like cough inducing kind of citrus or like sneeze inducing citrus because it has white flour. I immediately get jasmine in here and lotus I think just adds a different kind of accord to the floral body in the scent so I have a separate review of this fragrance I'm going to link it down below and I also mentioned that I get a lot of vanilla and sandalwood in the dry down so it is a burst of citrus in the entrance beautiful florals in the middle and creamy sandalwood in the base so you get different kinds of scents as it develops so it's not an entirely linear scent when it's developing but it can be linear when it's already dried out on your skin i also get away wearing this one during fall and winter because of notes like cedar and sandalwood in the base it can work really well too in colder weather 
This is Donna EDP from Trusardi. Now let us go to a sweet sugary citrus. So we have a lemon pie here. We have a bowl of citruses. We have rose and citrus. Let us go to the sugary citrus and that is I Love Love from the House of Moschino. This has just like um, Kayali Citrus 08 and Trusardi, this one has grapefruit and lemon and orange. But the fruity note, red currant is added on top which gives that different dose of sweetness. And just when you think that you know this is already sweet and fruity and tart enough, this one has sugarcane too. So sugarcane, lily of the valley, and cinnamon in the middle. In the base, this has musk, cedar, and woody notes. So in terms of the citrus here, it's more focused on orange. So even though it has grapefruit, it has lemon, those yellow citruses, this very acidic citrus is only at the top of the scent or like in the entrance as you first spray it. But then this one is more focused on orange. I imagine candied orange with this one. Not really a heavy, syrupy, or dense kind of candied orange scent. But you know those, do you know those um jelly, I'm going to put a picture um here on screen. Those sugar crystals in those um, orange slices, mandarin orange slices, jelly candies. That's the whole image that I get when I smell this because of sugar and orange. But notes like cinnamon just adds a different kind of um, layer to the scent, which just blends perfectly with musk and woody notes. So just like Trusardi, this is something that I wear throughout the whole year. So this is a very linear scent. It stays the same throughout the whole wear. It's more as I said, orange, sugarcane, musk, and woody notes with a little bit of cinnamon. The cinnamon I get more during um, cooler season, but if I wear this during summertime, it is more focused on that bright, crisp, tart, like mouth-watering kind of yellow citruses on top, and then it becomes a sugared orange kind of scent as it develops. So this is I Love Love from Moschino. And then I have a salty aquatic kind of citrus fragrance. This is Asian Salt and Citrus from the House of Theodoros Scalotinus. This has only three notes listed. It has grapefruit, lemon, and salt. So what I notice is that grapefruit and lemon, they're most they're most of the time paired together because like I, like I said, citrus can fade away really fast in a fragrance. And I think layering different kinds of citrus, like the three kinds of citruses here and the two types of lemon here, we can enjoy the citrus scent more and it's not really as one dimensional. So here it has lemon and grapefruit. I really get a lot of grapefruit in the entrance here. So grapefruit can be a tricky kind of citrus um, note for me because for example, in I think it's in Girl of Now Forever, it has grapefruit or like grapefruit peel or lemon peel. It can be bitter but in here it's not bitter at all it's sweet because it's paired with lemon and the salt here you guys is gorgeous this is the scent the reason why i decided to you know when i was trying to minimize my collection and declutter i let go of um a fragrance that i really liked actually it's, it's pakura bonds olympia aqua i really like that one i think of that fragrance every now and then so it's basically olympia aqua but take out the florals this is what you get a unisex fragrance I will be bringing this one. I didn't include this one in my fragrances to bring to the Philippines because I honestly forgot about this. But this will be one of the fragrances that I'll be bringing with me. This is a very straight to the point realistic scent just imagine crystal blue water, white sand, fluffy white clouds, and blue skies. That's this whole scent in a bottle. Agent Salt and Citrus from the house of Theodoros Kalutinis. That is it for today's video. These are my five citrus choices for summertime this year, 2022. These are ones that you can enjoy during daytime or nighttime. And actually, like I mentioned, these are all year kind of scents, but as a summer scent with focus on citruses, these fragrances can really satisfy your itch for that citrus scent. Nothing too complicated. These are simple, straight to the point scents. Some of them can be linear. Some of them you can really enjoy as it develops on your skin but these are simple wearable easy to enjoy citrus fragrances for summer and affordable as well thank you for watching today's video as i always say in every single content have fun much love stay safe and see you in my next videos